Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel and this is my performance review of the Adidas Dawn issue number four. So this is of course Donovan Mitchell's signature shoe, fourth shoe actually with Adidas. And if you guys do want to cop, I'll try to leave a link in the description box, but let's get it started off with the Tractiones. In this colorway, we have pretty much a solid white rubber out. So it's kind of like a very light gray color. It's actually kind of dirty though. We have a pretty cool like digital uh, traction pattern. That's what I'm gonna call it. And uh, we have a weird little slit going through the middle of the outsole. And also we can see a, a kind of an exposed midfoot chain plate, right? Uh, so yeah, how does the traction perform? It performs really good on a clean court, right? You do have to break it in a little bit, but once you do, actually does get pretty damn good, which I did like. Uh, so yeah, so just to preface this by saying, so when I first started playing with the shoe, my gym court was actually pretty damn dirty, but then they actually refinished it, right? They actually, you know, sand did it down and put a new finish so it's actually really clean in there so when i was playing on like that dusty setting it wasn't that good especially when i was breaking in it got a little bit better but to be honest it wasn't that good right but then i started playing on a new court it was actually really really nice it did slide out a little bit on like really hard slides though so i did have to be careful on that like just on really really hard like stops like really hard crossovers or really hard like cuts but for the most part it was pretty damn good on the clean court and also did have a little bit of a squeak as well which i did like But yeah, if you're playing on a dusty setting, this definitely is not the best option. It picks up dust really quickly and it's affected by dust a, a good amount, right? So it picks up dust pretty much like every one to two plays, which is really annoying. It is a pretty easy wipe though, not the easiest. You have to do one to two moderate wipes. Uh, and once you do, it gets clean and you have a few good stops again. But like I said, it picks up dust very quickly. So uh, if you don't mind wiping, then you should be okay, but it's not the best on dust because you have to wipe very frequently, right? Uh, so just be careful on that. Also, if you're playing on optical, you should be fine. I mean, the grooves are pretty deep. The rubber is very hard and also the grooves are kind of thick. So you should be okay for outdoor use. I mean, it's uh, it's a little bit softer here uh, where the thinner grooves are, uh, but where the highway area is, like where the ball of your foot is, you should be okay. So I feel like you should be fine on an outdoor court. So to be honest, uh, it was pretty good for me, you know, especially now that I'm playing on like the cleaner court, it'll probably get dirty in a little bit, you know? Uh, but when I was playing on a dirty court, I did really like it all too much. All right, moving on to the heel to toe transition. Overall, it was really nice and very, very smooth, right? So here in the heel, we have a nice rounded shape and fully exposed light strike midsole, which has a crazy amount of compression and also a little bit of bounce, you know, which feels nice when you're doing heel dominant strides uh, down the court. And also here in the forefoot, we have a little bit of a curved shape. Uh, it's way better than the Don issue one. Remember the Don issue one where it's like super flat? Yeah, that was a slapper, right? Uh, so I do like this. And also we have a good amount of forfeit flex which i do like but also uh, good torsional support because of this plastic midfoot chain plate so overall it felt really smooth for heel to toe transition I, I really really liked it all right moving on to the cushioning setup so it's full length light strike here in the dawn issue number four and feels really nice uh, i do like light strike the only kind of con about light strike is that it bottoms out very quickly and you, as you guys can see you can see all these uh, compression marks right all these creases in the midsole and yeah, so it's really soft at first and it feels a little dead now, especially here in the heel, right? So uh, the heel is a little bit high up off the ground and then the forefoot, you have good core feel. So there is a pretty high offset, which uh, I don't really mind all too much, but of course it all depends on what your preference is. If you want more of a flatter offset, then obviously this isn't the best option. Uh, of course, you know, if you're doing heel strikes and hard impacts, you should be fine. I mean, there is a lot of compression here in the heel. And also light strike has a little bit of bounce back as well. Of course, it's not as bouncy as like boot cushion or a react but light strike definitely has a little bit of a rebound back which i do like also the cushioning setup is comfortable uh comparing it to the dawn issue number three though it is thicker and higher up off the ground which i don't think is a terrible thing because i mean core feel isn't terrible you know what i mean uh dawn issue three had really good core feel though but not the best cushion because like i said it's on the thinner side of things so it, i feel like it's a good average between impact protection comfort and also core feel uh, although like if you're looking for really good court feel then obviously the Don issue 4 is not the best So I would say it's more like, you know, it's a good cushioning setup for Donovan Mitchell You know, he's super athletic. He needs impact protection. He needs that compression But also you have pretty good court feel here in the forefoot. It's responsive as well It doesn't feel too soft or mushy or anything like that, which I do like 
Uh, so overall, I did like the cushioning setup. And I, in my personal opinion, I think it's a little bit better than the Dawn Issue 3. All right, moving on to the materials. So we got Light Lock, right? They're calling it a Light Lock upper. It says Light Lock right here. And it's pretty much like a textile material. It's very finely woven and it's really nice. It feels great on foot. It's thin, but also super supportive and also really comfortable because it conforms to your foot really well, especially once you break it in, right? So right here in the forefoot, it feels really nice. And also you have a nice bit of fuse here in the tip of the toe for extra durability, especially if you do toe drag. So that's nice. And it stays really thin here in the midfoot as well, right? Thin, but also super supportive. We have flat tape worn laces. And also for the tongue, we have very minimal, like pretty much no padding, which I don't like all too much. I feel like they should have added a little bit of padding, uh, but it, they do make up for it uh, with a lot of padding here in the ankle area, which I don't like uh, because it feels a little bulky. You know what I mean? Which is like, just in my personal preference, of course, it's just me. I, I like to have a little bit less uh, foam. I don't know what it is with this shoe though. I mean, when you look at it, it does look a little thick, but like, not like overly thick, you know what I mean? Uh, but when I have it on foot, it just feels a little bit bulky to me uh, here in the back of the shoe, right? Uh, so that definitely does suck, but of course, it's really good if you want like something super cozy and very comfortable for the upper. Also, the tongue is a half booty construction tongue, which is nice, giving you an overall better one-to-one -one fit. Uh, so for the most part, it's a really nice material. Like this light lock upper here in the forefoot and midfoot feels great on foot. And I guess it does feel really cozy in the ankle area. So it feels very similar to the Dawn Issue 3 material. I would say the, uh, the 4 has a little bit better quality, however. All right, moving on to the fit. I went true to size and it fits pretty damn well uh, so my toes go like right to the edge of the shoe so for most people I would suggest going true to size uh, it is a little narrow however but one thing I didn't really like about it is that it's a little roomy here in the toe box just a tiny bit it's not to the point where it's like super uncomfortable and I hated it uh, but I wish it was a little bit more snug just in my personal opinion but for the most part it was a pretty nice fit for me I didn't really have any huge issues so for most people you should be fine going true to size if you want like a pretty snug fit if you have a wide foot or you want to room your fit probably just go up half a size and now moving on to the support and lockdown overall it was really good for me so for lateral containment I was good to go right so here in the forefoot there's really not a whole lot going on but like I said this light lock upper is super uh, supportive I mean I did feel this material moving uh, like over on itself just a tiny bit just a little bit uh, so I, I think you know if you're on the heavier side of things and you're doing a lot of shifting moves you're gonna feel it a little bit more than me uh, but I still feel like it has uh, adequate support right here in the forefoot here in the midfoot we have the foam coming up acting as a sidewall and also we have this midfoot chain I, I believe this is probably like the same piece right this midfoot chain plate probably uh, coming up acting as a sidewall here in the midfoot and here in the heel we have the foam coming up and there is an internal TPU heel counter it feels like so lateral containment it was good for me I was adequate so I had no problems with that. Also, lateral stability was good. Adidas usually does a really good job in giving us a very low to the ground base here in the forefoot and also making it super wide. So I was good to go for lateral stability. Also, I mean, this is kind of like a low mid, right? It's kind of a mid, but also kind of a low. Uh, but ankle support sucks. You know, you're not gonna really get any type of ankle support. I had pretty good uh, ankle mobility. So uh, if you're looking for ankle support, this definitely is not the best option. But for the most part, I had no issues with heel slippage. My foot felt locked into the shoe once I uh, tightened up the laces. And overall, support in lockdown was good for me. All right, moving on to the weight of the shoe. If I remember correctly, I think it was a little bit heavier than average, right? Yeah, so 13.42 ounces. Let's check the other pair. 13.39 ounces. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit heavier than average. You know, the average weight of my shoes is around 12 and a half ounces. So it is a little bit heavier than average, but not super heavy. It does feel a little bulky though. However, just here in the ankle, just a tiny bit, you know, I'm kind of nitpicking there, but I mean, I'm comparing it to shoes that I really like, you know, like uh, the PG6, the 8082 and like the Curry 10s, which I'm playing in right now. And also the Curry 1s, which which are a lot more minimal. That's just more my preference, you know what I mean? So I'm not saying this is bulky uh, by any means, but comparing to those shoes, which I do like because of the minimal upper, it just feels a little bit bulkier, right? Uh, but it is a pretty damn responsive shoe. When I was playing on a clean court, I did enjoy playing in it. I didn't really like the higher court feel in the, in the heel all too much, but for the most part, I felt pretty quick and light on my feet when I was playing in these. But of course, remember, if you're playing on a dusty court, it's probably not the best option. All right, moving on to the ventilation. Yeah, there's really no airflow through this light lock upper. And I mean, it is a, it's pretty thin, so it, it doesn't keep 
in heat that much, uh, but it's not the best for airflow. So ventilation was all right. And now moving on to the aesthetics, I don't really like it all too much. This colorway is really sick though. I really like this colorway, especially in the back, like this gradient. Uh, like purple and blue. So this colorway definitely does make the shoe for me, but I've seen the other colorways, not a huge fan of the overall silhouette of the shoe. Uh, so tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, the Don Issue 4 is a pretty good shoe, uh, but not my favorite. You know what I mean? I mean, the upper is nice, but I didn't really like the bulkier feeling here in the heel. Uh, the cushioning overall is good, but uh, I wish it was a little bit lower to the ground in the heel. Although I do like the more like compression and softness in the heel. I feel like in my personal opinion, uh, I would have liked a little bit more cord feel. And also the traction wasn't top tier, right? So because of those reasons, it's not the best shoe for me. And I would definitely pick other shoes over the Dolly shoe for, but uh, you can definitely make it work. So if you want a shoe with good support, thin materials, but it feels cozy here in the back of the shoe and really good cushion, but also a responsive cushion, then this is a, a pretty damn good option. Uh, but anyways, that about concludes my review of the Dawn Issue 4. Again, if you guys do want to cop, I try to leave a link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.